Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? Very pretty. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> For my family, and you have chosen your fate. Quart. Yeah, remember, you got Mara behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Cancels out my thing. Fine. 
good what? fight. What? Uh, you okay? How do you block that? I don't know. Ah! That's trying to find you. Oh, get him, get him! There you go, there you go! One hour later. Ah, oh, come on. There 
go. Ah! Oh, come on. Get him. There you go. There you go. You got him. You got him. You got him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, no. Um, hold. Hold oh. circle. Uh. Oh. Him. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the mishap. Yeah. But it worked out. So let's try this again. Yeah. Embrace your hatred. Your hatred has made you powerful. All right. Got him! Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Don't put this on your daughter. Code, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa! Alright. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kada. I tried.
How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path. 
when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. her through the darkness. Well, all right then. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Mm -hmm. Was that Cal's lightsaber? No, because he was wearing it, right? Yeah, he was. That, I think that was Sears lightsaber. Sears lightsaber. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen of the brotherhood, this is the part of the. Uh, this is the part. Where we talk about the game. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I'm still trying to process everything that happened and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, um. Cal is, uh. On the, on the razor's edge. Yep. I mean, I think he's more dark side now than ever before. Yep. And I think it's safe to say that there's going to be a third game now. Yeah. For sure, right? Mm hmm And, uh, I guess Kata... Yep. Is going to be The Apprentice? I would say so. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, um... So, what did I like about this game? Now, you told me, um, when we finished Resident Evil 4... Yep. ...that you thought that this was going to be my game of the year. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to really enjoy this game. So, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I will let you know, uh, once we're done, um... Uh, with the analysis so far. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, at the end of our, uh, yeah. you know, when we're talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, um, what I liked about this game, I thought the story was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it continued on um, from where Fallen Order left off. Mm -hmm. A few years in the future. Yep. This um, is now nine years into the Imperial reign. Into the Imperial reign. Yep. Um, we got a little bit of backstory of why they went their separate ra ways. Yeah. I think I would have liked a little bit more on that, but. That's that's it fine. got us straight into the action. So, mm -hmm. um, the chemistry between all the characters was good. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, yeah, l expanding the lore. We got some New Republic lore in mm -hmm. there. I really well, like High Republic. High Republic, I should yeah. say. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a much more, uh, compact story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas Fallen Order, yeah. we felt if, 
did feel like it was an extension of mm -hmm. the um, of um, of the star of the of the prequels. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where, uh, which I guess it was needed to kind of like set up. All right, these characters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so they can go on their little side adventures, right? Yep. And this felt like it was very much like a little side adventure mm -hmm. for uh, these characters. You know, trying to find Tantalor, yep. learning about all these other things. They had their own little things. So this is a nice little condensed Star Wars story. Mm -hmm. um, it's It was still connected to the um, overall... Um, yeah. canon. Overall canon with the hidden path. Mm -hmm. And Vader was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Boba Fett at the end right here as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it still was connected to the overall universe. Yes. But it still felt like its own little condensed little story. Yeah. Kind of like how I felt like how Andor was. Yeah. That it was still connected to the Star Wars universe. Yeah. But it was still like... It's, just, it's like a small story being played out on a much bigger painting. Right. It was like, all right, these group of characters trying to survive uh, yep. an imperial occupation, you know, mm -hmm. trying to find, you know, that, that better way. Or yeah. Some, while still being hunted down by the Empire yeah. and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Um, as far as the whole um, aspect of Tanalore and... Dagon yeah. and um, Ravis. Yeah. I thought Ravis was a better villain than Dagon. Because I didn't feel mm -hmm. like Dagon was a big deal at all. I mean, his boss fights were fun. Yeah. I just didn't find him all that menacing or that he was like, the, yeah, it. A Jedi that felt betrayed by the council, but mm -hmm. he didn't it didn't feel like he did anything that set him apart from like some other fallen Jedi. Like I thought um who was the second sister's name from the first game? Uh Trilla. I thought Trilla was a much better villain than Dagon was. I mean to be fair he was, he was in a back to tank for over 200 years. No, I'm, thing, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm not saying like his backstory. I know. I'm saying that the character wasn't written as well as Trilla. I thought Trilla was a much better villain in the first game than Dagon was. Mm -hmm. But I did like Ravis. Yeah. I thought Ravis was really well written and him being, you know, like, you know, leader of this raider faction. But yeah. he was... A villain that had a code of honor. He did. He had layers to him. You know what yep. I mean? And I mean, um, but I think another well, another cool thing with Dagon is we got we actually got to see a Force user bleed a Kyber crystal for the first time outside of the comics. That's true. So, and I enjoyed every single minute of it. I'm so glad that they put that in. So yeah, but again, I know I thought. Trilla was a better villain than Dagon, okay. and, and so my tier list for villains in this game yeah. was Dagon yep. at the bottom, uh, Bode, mm -hmm. then Ravis. Mm. So, so speaking of Bode, I think we saw the betrayal coming as soon as Dagon was done. As well, as we I I, I kind of hinted it a little bit because I was because I noticed his demeanor changed once we defeated him. And as soon as you told me that, I was like. He's going to betray us, isn't he? Yeah. Because this is way too easy of an ending. Mm -hmm. Which is why, again, like, which may, which suffered uh, Dagon's character a little mm -hmm. bit. Because he was just, he was just a red herring. He was. For the next, the next level. Mm -hmm. And the Vader, um, oh my god. Okay, so yeah. that boss fight, that pissed me off. Mm -hmm. But in a good way. Because it's, it's supposed to be hard. I He's freaking Vader. It's, yeah, it's Vader. So, but yeah, um, I thought the combat with all the stances was nice. Mm -hmm. um, they really flushed that out. And, they and said, I am, so this is one of my fears going into this game. Yeah. I thought that they were going to like nerf um, Cal, make it so that we had to relearn all the force abilities because that's exactly how these games go. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, like the old mm -hmm. school God of War games. But yeah. no, they didn't do that. They, it left off 
right where we're at mm -hmm. at in the first game from the first game and we just added on to that yeah. but now with a little with this ending with a little bit of a dark side twist so mm -hmm. what i'm maybe hoping for the third game is because uh, what they did for um jedi academy because in mm -hmm. jedi academy you had the option to like upgrade light force abilities mm -hmm. or dark side abilities yeah and you can just go your own path mm -hmm. you know you because you could still be like a yeah. light side jedi but still use yeah, dark side powers Cause you did because i remember you doing that um a couple of times in a play in a yes because i was a light side jedi but yeah. still you using did have like, for, you did have force, force light. lightning yes mm -hmm. and stuff like that and so that's what i would like for the for the third game it's like oh i want some dark side powers thrown in thrown mm -hmm. in there you know what i mean and uh maybe kata will be a playable character in this in the third game maybe but and i have a feeling she will be she will eventually become a jedi because i you know jedi do have children usually pass down their powers sure kind of the same like anakin with luke and but Leia. it begs the question well i guess we'll talk about the potential third game uh, yeah. a little bit later because i, I don't want to get sidetracked of, yeah, no. for this game okay um combat gameplay the upgrade system was good mm -hmm. all top notch the story i really liked graphics okay i think the graphics were probably the weakest part uh, really? Now, don't get me wrong. There were some parts of this game, actually uh, quite a bit of it, mm -hmm. where it was beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. But I did notice this a lot when I was cleaning up, and I don't know if you noticed sometimes in the play th in in the, in the playthrough, mm -hmm. the rendering like for environments to load in, you could oh. see the tech like the really bad I, textures, little, yeah, and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That was a problem in the first game, and it's still a problem here. So I think that, I think it's mostly because like they're still working on here, the here's, engine. But here's the thing, though. See, I have heard that the PlayStation version is the best version mm -hmm. as far as graphics because I hear like for the first few weeks, and I hear in some instances it's still not fixed. Yeah. In the in the PC version. Mm -hmm. If you don't have like a top of the line graphics card, mm. even that, it's damn near unplayable. Mm. Like, it, it, don't even bother trying to get this on Steam Deck. You need to have like a legit top of the line PC. Oh, to, like a legitimate like RTX engine. Like everything. Oh, everything. Yeah, to okay. play this game. So that by itself, like. Along with the game, you need serious money. From what I hear, like, I don't know if they fixed it yet, but... I'm pretty sure they have. I don't know, but that's a big problem for accessibility. And I hear that the Xbox version is really buggy. Now, we've only run into one bug that was during our at the very beginning that was at the cutscene. That's the only bug that we bug, encountered. Yeah, and I have heard from other people that um, there were some things when during the uh, the bounty hunter hunting yeah. that some of the bounty hunters just wouldn't load in mm. so that was a problem but they patched that in for this so I, i'm glad that they fixed that okay but yeah um a day one launch of this mm -hmm. was bad so kind of i think we benefited from you know like yeah waiting. this game came out and we were still in the middle of resident evil 4 yeah i am um, that so we got pushed like us back the, maybe the, two weeks, two three weeks, yeah. something like that. And by the time we got to like playing, playing it, some more patches came up and mm -hmm. updates. But but even still, like the loading in some gr some mm -hmm. areas, it was still very noticeable. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, for a AAA game like this, and this is probably an ea problem because they always do this with with their games where they always yeah. you know release a game mm -hmm. it's not ready for prime time yet nope. and then they always patch in stuff add in stuff i mean look at the um the uh, most recent battlefront 2 game yeah that was a bad game when it was first released Until, but like then they you fast forward two years later. Two years later, it's popular. Pr it's probably one of the best Star Wars game on the market. Yeah. So and 
we probably won't be able to jump in on that because you know that the yeah. the, the difficulty and the tier system with all the players playing it's just like yeah you know so Obviously. so people who stuck with it they're gold yeah. but yeah um the graphics and the rendering and the loading issues a couple glitches here or there mm -hmm. um that really brought it down for me and as terms of like uh, difficult gameplay that's on me but no during kidding. but during weeks where i would play this back to back to back for cleanup purposes mm -hmm. and there were some um, sessions where you could tell that all right like i'm i'm hot you know what i yeah. mean where you could tell that the oh yeah that the practice was paying off mm -hmm. and then there would be weeks where you know i wouldn't be able to get it get to the i know to the cleanup just because of busy yeah you know, and just exhausted from work, mm -hmm. and it, it shows. It does. So in the in, game in, does in the, pun the if, game does punish you if you're not like consistent. Yeah, on it. like so with Ghost of Tsushima and God. You need and God of you War. need to put in that practice. So this yeah. is definitely a game where mm -hmm. it benefits you practicing. Yep. And doing a lot of the side stuff. Yep. So yeah, and I think I, I probably did like sixty percent of the extra stuff. It's not terrible. Not terrible. But yeah, um, but it's just a game that I found difficulty uh, trying to make time to, and that's my fault. Yeah. So, but that's I'm, just I'm pretty difficult. sure if you let me play this, uh, play this well, game. Well, and plus we're also playing this in the middle of summer, where that's true. the only time because we live in an area where it's recommended that you don't run your AC until like nine o'clock at night. Yeah. And by the time that rolls around, I'm getting ready for bed and work in the morning. Yeah. So it gives you we. Because, hate to break it to you, ladies and gentlemen of the Brotherhood, like we have full time jobs. I know we we have to we have to go to those full time jobs. Yeah, but I mean, I would usually do cleanup like around like six thirty or seven. Yeah, but you're in a cool room and stuff. No, I'm in here, dude. Whenever I had to play the PS Five. But yeah, but that was that wasn't during the summertime. Mm. though, So it was fine during the summer. It's been hot, mm. but you know that's my fault. Yeah. So um. Do I think that this is a better game than the first game? I would say yes. Um. I would say yes. Some aspects yes, some aspects uh, no. Okay, Cameron. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Who right. played Dagon? Uh, Cody. Cody Fern. Fern. Okay. Uh, and then who played Bode? I didn't see. Him. I didn't see his name either. Mm. Uh, additional. Russell Richardson. Yeah. Oh, then... okay. uh, Boys Town. Uh, Norris. Bode. Norris. Nasir, Nasir, Dal. Okay. Uh, da, 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 any additional? Oh, uh, Vader, um, voiced by Scott Lawrence. Ah, so okay. it wasn't James Earl Jones. Okay. Hey, Scott Lawrence, you do a pretty good Vader, yeah, man. Yeah, you do. Uh, I'm trying to think like any other additional voice actors. Though I, I'll, I'll say this about yeah. um, uh, comparing the two games. Mm. I like the story in the first game better than in this game, but I thought the. Uh, the gameplay, the combat, mm -hmm. and the upgrade system. It was much, looked, it was flushed out. Yes, it was better in this game. Mm -hmm. So, it kind of offsets the the, um, uh, the two. I thought that the first game, uh, 9 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. um, as far as this game's final score, uh, because mainly it's just the graphics... Uh, for me and a couple glitches that I ran into during my cleanup and the one during the playthrough. Mm. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8.8. .8. What? 8.8. .8. I can give it a 9 once I can... Because I'm, I'm not done playing this game yet. Obviously. I'm, I'm still going to be playing this when we move on to the next. But once I complete all the side stuff and all the other stuff... Because there's some really cool exploration stuff like in here. Mm -hmm. I can bump it up to a 9. So yeah, I'll bump it up to a 9. Now, as far as this being a, a game of the year, I can see it. But it's not my game of the year. So far, it's Resident Evil 4 is my game of the year. Now, we still have some games coming out soon. Obviously. Mainly Spider-Man 2. Mm -hmm. That can dethrone it yeah. uh, for me. Right now... If they do it right, though. Huh? If, if they get the story right. Oh, for sure. And that's a game that I will for, for sure 100%. Yeah. So, all right. So, what new games have come out uh, so far this year? Resident Evil 4. Mm -hmm. um, this game. Yep. What else? Dead Space. Dead Space Remake. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is where I'm at right now. 
All right, so I'm gonna go with said Dead Space remake and this game are tied. Just because I'm doing it in a tie right now, just because mm -hmm. I'm not done playing this game yet. Okay. Then it's um. Then it's Resident Evil Four. Really? Yes. Mm. Because right now Resident Evil Four is still my game of the year. Like, cause that game had no graphical problems, no glitches, mm -hmm. like, and gameplay was smooth, right difficulty, like nothing, like story on point, everything about it was top tier. Mm -hmm. It's just again like the glitches and the graphical rendering just. But those uh, can be forgivable over time. But though. even still, I mean, it still pops up. Like, how long has this game been out? Like. A couple months now yeah almost three months and they still having these problems but again that's just the graphics everything else about this game was fantastic mm -hmm. so but yeah game of the year not quite Resident Evil 4 is still my game of the year so but yeah this is still don't get me wrong just because I'm giving it any point eight doesn't mean I hate this game yeah. this is still a really good game as far as Star Wars games mm -hmm. goes, this is near the top. Yeah. Um, is it better than um, Knights of the Old Republic? No. Oh, no. Because I don't think anything is going to beat Knights of the Old Republic. No. But it's still better than a lot of other Star Wars games out there. Yeah. It's near the top for me. It is. It's, again, another step toward in the right direction. Oh, for sure. It's another step. So, EA, if you're listening... I know you're going to do a third game. Yeah, I think it's an absolute given with that ending right there. Mm -hmm. So please, don't release it until you got the graphics down. Please. And just continue to build on what you improved on in this game. Mm -hmm. Like, continue to hone in on the combat, the upgrade system. Add in some dark side powers in there. And give us another, like, enclosed story. If you want to bring in some more elements from the outside lore, you know, some more Empire stuff, mm -hmm. um, do you think they should include Vader in the next game? I think they may, maybe. And I, if they, if I they, honestly don't think they need it. Well, they, I, I don't think, think they need Vader to be in the next game. Well, here's the thing. If not Vader, why not just throw Ahsoka in there? Maybe. Yeah. Or um, some more Inquisitors. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing the Grand Inquisitor, it, depending on the time, because I know that he does die in he, Rebels. No, yeah, he die, He dies in Rebels way later. So, I don't know if you want to... I don't know like how far in the timeline you want to jump forward. Yeah, but if they decide to throw in Ahsoka in there, I would be satisfied. I don't know. Um, I personally think that you don't need any legacy characters... If you want to do a concise, another like compact original mm -hmm. story, yeah, but still have it have some outside elements like interject themselves into the story, mm -hmm. not completely take over, mm -hmm. you know, because the little dice of Vader in there, yeah. I thought was mwah, perfect. Yeah, you know, it was not too much; it was just right. Because mm -hmm. you know, it's the hidden path, so of course, yeah, like, he's he, gonna be he's, looking for he's that. He's gonna be involved and everything, and that just. That little amount was just enough for me to satisfy me. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do the same thing in the third game, cool. If not, that's fine. I mean, we saw Boba Fett. Yeah. Maybe throw him in there or something like that. Throw but him in there. Or um, if you wanted to continue the hidden path storyline, like kind of did with Obi-Wan, maybe you weren't into Quanlin Boss. You know what? I would not be opposed to that. If they do Quantum Boss Even with having, his voice actor and with everything. With his voice actor, have him team up. Maybe a little bit. Maybe not so much. You can say like, hey, you know, if you can help us out, you know, I would be grateful. But have him come in as a Sith. Because remember, he does, he does turn to the dark side, but he still helps the Jedi. Remember? That is that, true. That, that is but canon. again, um, how far in the story is that? I'd How far do they want to do the... Uh, three year, three or four years later? Maybe, unless they want to jump ahead another, like, nine years to make Kata a little bit older. Because she must be, like, what, ten years old? Nine years old? Eight, and, probably eight. So... Um, well, if we're jumping, as, to, as eight, Ma we're jumping Ma to nine, that as would As Mace make... Windu would say, she's too old. 
I know, but if we're jumping to another nine years... That would make that, her 18, 19, that's seven, like 17. Like 17, 18, but that's also right around the time Luke and the heroes would join in in episode four. Oh, so we're talking about yeah, the Galactic we're, Civil War yeah, era. Then we're going to get to the apex of the Galactic Civil War. because Maybe like it happens like right before... Um, uh, Rogue One, New Hope area. Like, maybe like a year before that all kicks off. Because I know that, from what I've heard, the next season of Andor is supposed to take, like, the ending is supposed to take place three days before Rogue One. Well, who knows when we're going to get that with, I this, know. with the writer's um, strike going and I on. Did, and I did hear that the open world Star Wars game that is coming out, it's coming out in the timeline between Empire Strikes Back and uh, Return of the Jedi. Okay. So it's going to take place in between that timeline. So I don't know if they want to jump to that same timeline or before Empire Strikes Back. Maybe. Uh, personally, I think right before New Hope or Rogue One that would, would be, be a, a good, night, would would be be a a good spot. Because mm -hmm. that's nine years from now. About nine, seven, no, ten. No, nine to... Well, seven to nine years from now. Seven to nine years from now. Mm -hmm. So, if they want to make uh, Kata like an uh, mm -hmm. angsty teenager, mm -hmm. like Cal's apprentice type thing. Yeah. They Marin could do. Will, they could do that. Yep. Marin would be older, more experienced. Yeah. Um. Oh, are we gonna get a special thing? A special. Mar thing? No, the the marketing uh, partners. Um. Uh, because I'm what I'm trying to think. Because I'm what I'm. But you know. But anywho. Mm -hmm. So but that's ideas for the third game. But yeah. what did you think about this game? Um. I would probably say. Because I I know because I know like uh, I've done. My last few games that I've done with, you know, the kind of cleanup that you've had to done with Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, uh, See if with uh, with Ghost of Tsushima and God of War. If I played this game and I had to rank all four of those games, I would say I would rank Assassin's Creed Valhalla at four. I would probably say I would put this game a solid third place, then Ghost than God of War. Because I can tell you right now, this does not be God of War. Oh, it, I, I, I completely no, agree with you. this does not be God of War. Ghost of Tsushima, I would... The, if it had Ghost of Tsushima graphics, then it would be a tie. But no, I think Ghost of Tsushima is a better game than this game. Yeah. And, um... But and yeah. I thought Ghost of Tsushima was damn near perfect. Oh. Almost perfect. Mm -hmm. Um... But yes, um, I did like the skill tree. I like the custom, like all the cosmetic customizations. Um, I did like the boss fights; they were intense. Oh, uh, I were, did like the, I, the. I think my favorite boss fight was probably the Ravis fight. Yeah, just because I just told you just to block his savers and just not. Try oh, to and fight. you know what? I did like the boss fights in this game better than in the first game. Oh yeah, because I think the first game it was mostly just inquisitors. There were no like bounty hunters. No, uh, it was in all, it no was inquisitors all... and giant creatures. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. But in this game, it was not only giant creatures and in, we got an inquisitor fight mm -hmm. and three dagon fights. Yep, three dagon fights, one Ravis fight. You got a couple well, of other thing. legendary fights, including Rick the Door Technician. Yeah, that, <laughs> is it Rick the Door. Hey, shout out to Rick the Door Technician, man. Yep. That was hilarious. So, but I will say that the boss fights in this game, each boss fight required a different strategy. Yeah. I thought. Because my, my idea of a boss is a hack and slash. Rah, 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 rah. No. But no, like Ravis, I had to use a different strategy against him. No, because I told you to use that yeah. different strategy. And it worked. Yeah. Um, Vader. Just, no way! I'll, I'll talk about Vader li in a bit. Yeah. Dagon, I felt like it was like balanced to your level. Mm -hmm. It was a mix of force powers and saber blocking and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, like but, when to use the force on a, him, yeah. and then just like, go on, go to town on. And him. each creature also had its own mm -hmm. um, attack pattern. Including and even the droids were. Pretty, oh yeah, the, 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 the droids. droids were, the yeah. droids were pretty were pretty solid. Were pretty solid. The raiders also had a difficult. The bounty hunt. Some of those bounty hunters were tough too, mm -hmm. but and the Vader boss fight mm -hmm. just 
get down on your knees and pray for forgiveness yeah. that he is merciful on you because yeah. jesus christ how many times did it take me to beat vader tell took, the audience right now uh it took you almost like 15? 55 to an no, hour not well uh, i was about to say 55 tries no 55 i'm talking about minutes i'm was, talking about tries oh yeah oh i thought you were talking about like time wise uh oh for tries yeah was it taking like 15 or I something? I want to say like that? either 15, 15 to 17. Is yeah, in the it ball took part. me a long ass time. Yeah, in the, in the in the run where I finally got it. Yeah, I think we mentioned this in um, in that session. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish I told like D David had had his phone on him and just record me. Uh, like, I was just like hunched over, like mm -hmm. focused on, and David was like legit afraid to like speak to like throw me off no like once we got him down to like like a yeah. smidge of health when you finally like yeah. were confident it's like you almost got him dude yep like jesus Even the, Christ. and i gotta say like in this session alone that the second uh, attempt on bode you were also close to death, but you managed to get that last strike on him. Right. I was like, he was in the air, about yeah. to like and then slam you, his saber on top of my head. And you head. literally just spin it. On and his I foot. did the spin attack on his feet. And I, and I was like, Ooh. I was like, he better land this, or else it's and gonna be another try. You know what I did? I, I did an Achilles on him. Mm, like, Phil, yeah. Like, Phil, but that scrawny heel of his, mm -hmm. he barely gets nicked right there, and kaboom. Yep. He's history. Yep. So I hit him in the ankles. Um, what'd you think of all of the, um, all the cast, the acting? What did you think of their performance? Superb. I thought they all did an excellent job. Yep. All the voice acting was good. Mm-hmm. Um. We did get to hear Matt Mercer Matt again. Matt Mercer I, in I, there. I, I love that guy. Mm-hmm. I love, I love him so much. And, um, Richardson was in it for all of yeah. 30 minutes. Yep. So, bravo. Rest mm -hmm. in peace, my man. Um, I thought Dagon's voice act, uh, actor was great. I, I thought, swear I heard his voice before. I know. I just can't I, put I, his, I, my finger on it. I know. I also liked Master Cordova, too. And uh, what I found peace, out, yeah. um, he apparently, he knew Qui-Gon Jinn actually mentored him when he was a Padawan. Qui-Gon Jinn? Yeah. Really? And he does talk about Master uh, Yaddle. Oh, okay. Yeah, about how you know, like she did, he just dis like Yaddle disappeared, and all that. Like no one knew what happened, but we knew what happened. Ah. Du Dooku. Dooku. Yeah, but it, there was a little bit of dialogue that you did miss and everything, but That's that was good. that was fine. Um, and it did add like a a little like layer to Cordova. So, um, um overall rating for this game, David. I give it a solid. I give it a solid nine. You're gonna give it a solid nine. I give it a solid nine. All right. So you, I guess you just don't care about graphics and game glitches. Oh no! I don't get me wrong. I do. It just doesn't. It doesn't bother me that much. As much? No. I just want my game. If it, the gameplay is solid, you, you know, I can. I can forgive it. You know what it is? You weren't playing the game. Yeah. If you were playing the game, I think you would feel the same way as I did. Because I ran into those things much more often than you were sitting here. For well, them. here's the thing, though. One, I would have done a lot more. I think I would, person would have done a lot more cleanup, and I would have. I think I would have utilized my skill points a little more manageable. Right. And then, I don't think I would use. One of the two stances that you wouldn't be using. What? Which stances would you be using? I would be using the dual or the single blade. Okay. Yeah. What that's about what, the the um uh, the cross guard? The cross or, guard or the blaster I would, stance? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe not. And then the perks, I would have different perks. Because I focused all mine on defense and parrying. Yeah. Cause didn't you also have the XP perk? I did. Yeah. To earn some more XP. To earn more XP, but also you had other perks in there that would enhance the block and block the and defense. I know. I think I would have swapped out the XP and just I, put all that in. Cause I know 
Well, I didn't have any more defensive perks. Oh. Well. And even if I did, like, I didn't have room to put them in. That's true. This is, I focus all of my on defense and parrying. Because mm -hmm. in some of those boss fights, if I didn't have that, yeah. it would have taken me forever. No. Nope. Trey Turner, former Dodger shortstop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I would give it a... Well, I mean, if I was playing this game, I think I still would give it a solid 9. Because okay. honest, honestly, like, the glitches... Well, like, the glitches and the graphics, it wouldn't bother... Because I would know this is an EA game. I've played EA game, multiple EA games. I'm just if telling I, you, like, some of the... Um, uh, there were a couple times when I was fighting um, uh, the bounty hunters mm -hmm. where it would freeze and I would have to reset. Ah. Uh, but... And that would be the end of it, but... Uh, Unless you say you you made sure you saved it before. Oh no, it, it put me like right before. Oh, okay. I saved like uh, as soon as I got to the planet or the area, I'd sit in the um, okay in the circle. Well then, and, th and then, but yeah, that shouldn't happen in a triple. I know, game. I know that shouldn't happen, but again, I don't think I would mind. I don't think I would mind it that much. Okay, but I again, mean, I still think that you weren't in the driver's seat. But again, I, I, I could still give the I could still bump up my score to a nine. Yeah. If, no, uh, I'm still giving this. A, I'm still giving this a solid nine. I think without gameplay, a solid nine. With gameplay, maybe I would snoop to your level, but I don't think. But I think I would, I would enjoy it a little bit more. Okay. I would still give this a solid nine. It doesn't, but still, it doesn't beat Ghost of Tsushima, and it definitely does not beat God of War. Oh, for sure. No. Cause, cause. Ghost of Tsushima. For you, don't give like decimal points for your for your ratings. Oh no, unless Go it's. I'm really nitpicking here. Yeah. But your... Because you gave Ghost of Tsushima a 9 out of 10, too. Yeah. But yours is like a really high 9. Yeah, mine was a really high 9. Almost 10. Mm -hmm. Very Great special thing. thing. George Lucas. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And then for... Da, 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 da. Some last stuff. All right. So, um, what is next? On the, well, we already have our next game uh, picked out. Mm -hmm. It is related to a game that's coming out later this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, that I think is could be game of the year if they do it right. If they do it right, do but it as right. of right now, uh, Resident Evil Four mm -hmm. Remake is still my game of the year, and yeah, this next game that's coming now, I'm sure you're prob you guys probably know what we're talking about. Yeah, is Spider Man Two. I think that that is probably going to be game of the year, but mm -hmm. we will see. So yeah, our next game is related to that. Mm -hmm. We got uh, another couple other games potential coming out. Yes. Well. So once we finish our next game, mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm guessing you got. I guess we could just probably let them know what it is because yeah. uh, uh, by the time we're, we now that we're finishing this, um, yeah. Uh, by the time you're watching this, you probably would have already seen our Spider-Man walkthrough or yep. playthrough. Mm -hmm. So uh, up next is gonna be. Uh, Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Yep. Now, I did hear that that game is not as long as... Uh, no, it's not. It's more of like an extended DLC yeah. type of thing. But that's fine. So yeah. we'll do that. And then, uh, depending on how long that game takes... I hear it's not that long of a game. No. It does have some cleanup in it, but yeah. it won't take me that long to do we that. We might... If we... Depending on how fast we go through Miles Morales and depending on the day... If... Call of Duty rolls and rolls around. We could totally just jump straight in, but I doubt it will take it. It won't take us that long. Well, Spider Man comes out in October. It does. And if Call of Duty comes out at the same time, I think I'd want to do Spider Man first. Mm, okay. Because that I I really want to play that game. I know. But again, because you know, Call of Duty has been starting to come out in October recently. Yeah, and I think Assassin's Creed is also might come out. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. We might have to save that for, no, for the I, new year. No, that's so going to save that for a new year. And you know what? It might be beneficial for me to just do a because full playthrough of that game and then have you watch me play it you know, after a full run through of it. We'll, we'll see. We'll I see. Know. I don't know. But Or we might save that for when we need like a long filler. When we need to record something. If no, well, if nothing comes out in next summer, that could be a good because, one. Because, um, timeline here, because mm. this, we're in the last weekend of July, yes. ladies and gentlemen. So, mm. it's almost, so, next week is August. Yep. So, we still have August, September. That's two months. To find something to do in the meantime. Mm. Although, I mean, by Depending the time. on how fast we get through we, Miles we, 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 we pump these 
parts out for survive. Oh. A place oh. you call home. Cutscene? Yep. Well, Greece. Not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Greece. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. <laughs> yeah. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? <laughs> Journey complete. You have reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored and there may be yet secrets left to discover. Next. Uh, New Journey Plus. New Journey Plus is now available from okay. the main menu. All stances and uh, cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked. Cool. Yeah. Along with some new perks and lightsaber colors. Mm. Any skill points will also carry over to your new game. Right. I can see the red, so I guess yep. the red Kaiba crystal is available now. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, new Journey Plus free perks. Uh, Purity grants a massive increase in weapon damage for both friends and foe. Uh, warrior replaces uh, replaces standard enemies with new, more difficult combat encounters mm. okay uh what is that uh, trendsetter randomizes your cus cosmetics on death on death in mm. okay interesting oh shit i'm almost dead, dead. <laughs> yeah i was about to say like yeah, had he landed that one last hit he would have killed me yep all right let's rest up uh, am i still on the dark side here Rest, skill points. No. Oh, yeah. no. Okay, so I... Did I purge my darkness? I don't know. Anywho, okay. Alrighty. So, yeah. Spin this camera around. Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the Brotherhood. Thank you so much for joining us once again. So, uh, depending on how fast we can pump out these uh, parts. Mm -hmm. um, well... It's almost August, so I'm guessing we're in the middle of Spider-Man. Yep. How many parts do we have for that? Uh, 20? 20 something, and uh, this next week will take us up to part 10. Okay. But Plus then we, we got, got wrestling yep. as well, so it's gonna be at least three days. So maybe these parts will take us up to October. Depending on what else we play? Yeah, and then we would have to upload Morales immediately. Immediately after and that to immediately, get ready then, for Spider-Man 2. And I think while Morales is being released, we would be playing through Spider-Man 2. We'll see. It, Maybe. De it just depends on how quickly we can pump out the parts. Yeah. Or we can use um, the, uh, the couple summer months to uh, finish up Batman. <laughs> I don't no, I don't think so. I don't think that would be necessary. No, I think no. I'm saying we finish it up, play something else, to like have a little bit of a like a backlog to make it so that we don't have to feel rushed with pumping up some of the newer games. Kind of like what we did with uh, this one. You know how we uh, did uh, Spider Man mm -hmm. like a year ago, yeah. but then. We pumped out spy. We're uploading Spider-Man Let's Plays mm -hmm. so that we could um, take our time with this one. Mm -hmm. I think we should do the same. So I think that's a good little formula to 
We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, no, because well, no, it. it uh, I'll explain it later. To because okay. I, anywho. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. We had a lot of fun with this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us know what you thought. Is this your game of the year? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what would you give this game? Do you think this one is better than the first game? And what do you think is gonna happen in the uh, the third game? Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram. Links are in the description below. Please do make sure you guys continue to stay safe, stay healthy, get your vaccines, get your boosters, wear a mask, wash your hands, do all your hygiene stuff, and most importantly, make smart decisions in the galaxy of Star Wars. And may the Force be with you. And uh, we are out of here. here.